just leaving the room with the drawings in now and going to see some prints in the next room. But just to say about the drawings, they are very precious to me because I never sold drawings. I gave one throw away to people who bought paintings which came from them. But I've always kept them close to my, myself because they're such personal things, personal memories of places, events, and all of that. Uh, and they have special memories. So um, now this is the first time I really put them on this year to, to, to sell and get them framed. But if we move now into the other room, um, these are limited edition prints. <coughs> The, the first one near the door here is of uh, Dunning Island and it was drawn on the spot with pen and then put some colour on it on a dark gloomy day where suddenly the light pow like that and came across this citric light across the landscape and it was a magical sort of view and a magical time to be there. Um, these prints here um, are of paintings. And you can see that I'm a painter who works with a lot of pigment. These are Vinny and Pasto, and I work with painting knives to build up texture. And these prints are so well done, they give a real indication, I think, of the three-dimensional quality of paint. Um, I, I, I like these a lot because they really are so close to the originals. Uh, and it shows, with looking into the brilliant evening light, how you can get masses of cloud, and then these breaks of cloud which I've talked about where the light comes through and illuminates the landscape. One of my favourite areas to paint is at the end of the dingle and some of these views looking out towards the sea with these little enclosures. I love the idea of lanes and walls going down to the bays and it's very simple material but when you paint into evening light with little halos of light on the sheep here and on the walls uh, and of course on the water, you do create this wonderful dynamic of dark against light and it becomes very vibrant for a painter to work in those conditions at that time of day. This by contrast, um, this painting of Venice is probably the best known view in the world actually, the most painted. This is Santa Maria della Salute, the great cathedral and looking down into early morning light from the bridge which spans academia, goes off to academia and the barges and all the early morning tr river traffic that comes down to empty dustbins and to stock up the, stock up the shops and all that and very, very few tourists see it at this time of day very very early morning where things really happen uh, and the day is sort of breaking and all the the hustle and the bustle of a day starting in Venice. This um, is an interior of the fish market, of which there are drawings in the other room. And it shows how you get the figures in silhouette against the light, and the, the contrast between the dark interior and the outside brilliant light is quite amazing. And because they keep the fish cool, they use a lot of water to hose down and you do get these extraordinary reflections in the, in the, on the floor there. Very dramatic. And these scarlet blinds, which are so much part of the fish market, sadly they now change them. When I was last there to green, it doesn't work half as well. I feel like writing to them about it. This is a, another a painting um, of moorland and clouds rolling over the landscape done um, in the west coast of Ireland and again I think it shows remarkably well how they, they build the texture up in the painting to create that illusion of three dimensional, three, almost like a three dimensional view and there's a little cameo there of Venice of the um, St Mark's Square with the, uh, the great column. This is the last of the uh, three paintings on this scale, which are, are, are prints um, which show the, this remarkable amount of impasto and texture that one can have. Um, the, the only one I have in this exhibition of uh, Everest uh, is this uh, small painting 
with the evening light coming across the mountain and illuminating that side. It is an incredible thing to be up there, very cold. We were there about 25 degrees below freezing and um, the winds make it seem even colder. But the, by contrast, when you're making drawings and looking, you just see the, the light moving across the mountain, creating crevices and shadows and facets of brilliant light on the angles. This one contains um, the prayer flags. Uh, every expedition to Everest starts with prayers. They're all Buddhist, of course, and they, they have this uh, tapestry of prayer flags, which is the starting where they pray ar around here as a starting point to deliver them up the mountain, which is very regarded as a sacred mountain. <clears throat> One of the places that I lived for quite a while was in Morocco. This is in Marrakesh, the famous square. Um, where they, it's one of the biggest squares in the world and um, in the evening they have barbecues which they say is the biggest barbecue in the world and the light there can be so vibrant, so brilliant it almost hurts your eyes to look into it so when you get silhouettes looking into, against the light they really are just almost, almost black sometimes uh, but it does create the, the, the huge, huge contrast between the darks and the, the, the brilliant light which falls onto the paved areas there. Um, so that's quite a dramatic little painting that I did, I think, of, of Morocco. And there's a group here which, um, some of our Provence, this is a Provence painting. This is done near Le Beau. Uh, do you remember Van Gogh was a, a, an inmate in the hospital at Saint-Rémy in De Provence? And he painted these, uh, the mountains of Le Beau quite a lot. It's intimidating to work where somebody else has painted. But I know this area so well, and I felt I could do that, do it justice. So that's my homage to Van Gogh, really, that painting. Um, the next one to it, on the left, is in a village which is very nearby. So both these are Provence paintings, uh, as indeed is the one below here. And the time I like to be in Provence, particularly, is in the spring. In the spring, you get a lot of, well, you get the blossoms right across the Luberon. It is a magic time. And in the evening, again, because I paint a lot in evening light, you get the light coming across and picking up little areas of the, of the blossom like this. It's almost like fireworks are so vibrant, alive and brilliant. Uh, and I've painted quite a few down there at that time of year. Moving here, this is a place in northern Italy which few English people seem to go to called Piemonte. And Piemonte is an extraordinary place for hill towns. There are more hill towns in Piemonte. This is the Barola wine growing region. And you get layers and layers of landscape, hills receding into more hills and so on. The light can be just magic there. And in the late autumn, when you get the vines um, starting to, to dry and the harvest, the grapes are being picked, you get these extraordinary colours of, from pale yellow, Naples yellow, right through to the deepest oranges. And that is, uh, I spent a lot of time in Piemonte, so I regard it as my second home, really. Um, and I've done some extraordinarily large paintings of Piemonte, and that was one of the uh, smaller ones I did. But you can see I love the rows, the uniformity of the rows of vines. And it, it, at that time of year, everything becomes warm and vibrant. Um, two more, finally, two more paintings here. One of Hartland, looking along the coastline to the west in evening light. And Molly did paintings, about 33 paintings, on one fa facade of Rome Cathedral. And I've always been interested in the way you can take the same subject, which can be transformed by time of day and weather conditions, into a totally different experience. And I've painted this coastline of Heartland, looking along with that particular view, with many different paintings, looking at the way the colour changes, the way the light changes, uh, and so on. And it's, uh, I suppose of all the subjects I've painted, it's the one I've painted most. And you could say my favourite subject, really, if I was asked to find a favourite, which is, which is difficult to do. 
Um, and finally, uh, this is a, a painting of God. When we started, we were looking at a drawing of God. This is a different angle. Uh, and this is a little uh, painting, uh, again, in, in the evening light, with that uh, church dissolved into mist. And then looking up the, the lane here with all these angles and facets of landscape below it. 